This is Dr. Caldwell Miller, Dr. Miller's Guide to Neurology, and we're doing a series on epilepsy. And I'm going to repeat some things to be redundant because this classification that changed in 2017 is evolving as new. So there are three basic seizure types, and we're going to talk about focal seizures today. But the three types, there's focal, there's generalized, and there's unknown. Unknown just means they had a seizure and no one witnessed it. For example, someone had a seizure in their sleep and we don't know anything about the seizure. Maybe they had a seizure while driving and they were alone, but an unwitnessed seizure. You can't really define what type of seizure this is unless you have a witness and someone can see it. So we're going to talk about focal onset seizures today. Focal seizures are caused by abnormal electrical activity that originates from one side of the cerebral hemisphere. And you have retained awareness seizures, which are focal aware seizures, and you have focal seizures with impaired awareness. These are focal impaired awareness seizures, and there's subsets of those. So focal seizures that have a motor, um, have motor activity, um, there's seven of these. And we're gonna go over these one at a time, and then we're gonna do individual vid videos on each one. But they're focal automatism seizures, focal atonic seizures, focal tonic seizures, focal clonic seizures, focal epileptogenic spasms, focal hyperkinetic seizures, and focal myoclonic seizures. These are the seven focal seizures that are motor variant. So a focal automatism seizure is repeated motor activity with impaired awareness. Occasionally with amnesia, very hard to diagnose. Sometimes they're just repeated actions like speaking something, lip smacking, rubbing. This is a focal automatism seizure, but it's the subset of vocal seizures where it's the focal impaired awareness seizure. So this is a focal automatism seizure, what we used to call a complex partial seizure. The second type is a focal atonic seizure, just sudden loss of muscle tone. It can be one side of the body or a limb. Awareness is maintained. So this is a focal aware seizure. It's a focal atonic seizure. Focal tonic seizure is just a sudden increase in muscle tone. It's often in, in, in the neck or just in one limb. It's a focal tonic just tonic seizure. The focal clonic seizure, the four type, is a sustained rhythmic jerking of a muscle group. It can be symmetrical or asymmetrical. I used to call this simple partial seizure, like that patient I mentioned that had a seizure for 20 years where just right arm just jerked, talking to me the whole time. Uh, that's a focal clonic seizure. Focal epileptogenic spasm is the fifth form. It used to be called infantile spasm. This is just a sudden, uncontrolled, sometimes painful muscle spasm, mainly in kids, You'll see a flexion at the, at the um, waist, sometimes a flexion or extension of the arms. It's usually in clusters, can be focal or generalized. Uh, once again, their awareness is maintained, so another one of these focal aware seizures. Focal hyperkinetic seizures, that uncontrolled and exaggerated muscle activity like agitated, kicking, thrashing, pedaling, like pedaling of a bike. And most of these kids you see with this you think are crazy. Hook them up to an EEG and it's abnormal. And most of the time they'll need an extended EEG, you know, 72 hours. Um, very hard to diagnose, impossible without an EEG. The last motor, focal motor seizure, is a focal myoclonic seizure. It's similar to the clonic seizure, but it's just brief, just a split second, a brief jerk of one part of the body, awareness is maintained. Awareness is maintained. So it's another one of the focal aware seizures. Uh, the non-motor onset seizures, there are five of them. You've got focal non-motor, automatic seizures. They affect, seizures affect the uh, nervous system. I remember hearing about abdominal epilepsy when I was younger. Didn't believe it until I had someone that had this sort of rising sensation, funky sensation in their stomach. I hooked them up to 72 hour EEG when it first came out 20 years ago and they just had hundreds of seizures. Sometimes they'll have hot and cold feelings in their body, strange smells or tastes, you know. These people you think are crazy until you hook them up to an EEG. Very hard to diagnose. Focal non-motor automatic seizures. Focal non-motor behavioral arrest seizure, just complete cessation of all activities and unresponsive for the entire duration of the event. Once again, very hard to diagnose with that EEG. You know, we usually do a, you know, a, a 45 minute to an hour EEG and then a sleep deprived EEG and then if you have the capabilities of 72 hour EEG, 72 hour EEG if not, you know, send them to a university that has it. Um, the fifth one is a focal non-motor cognitive seizure, seizures with hallucinations, delusions, deja vu, impaired speed. So we see people hallucinations, we always do an EEG. The sixth one is a focal non-motor emotional seizure, the panic, anxiety, fear, joy, crying, depression, and other emotions. That's why we do EEGs on all these psychiatric patients that have these weird, you know, emotional outbursts. 
just make sure these are not focal non-motor emotional seizures. Focal non-motor sensory seizures, seizures with abnormal sensations. I've seen about three people that just went numb on the right side of their body, hooked them up to a 72-hour EG, and it was a seizure. And they can have abnormal sensations, visual, auditory, gustatory, smells, tastes, somatic hallucinations, vertigo sensation. So those are the focal seizures. Now, if they have a focal seizure and it progresses to a generalized seizure, that's a focal to bilateral tonic clonic. And we're going to talk about generalized seizures um, in the next video. So like, subscribe, comment. Um, more later.